Hello everyone. In this unit, we are going to discuss about bank reconciliation statement. Now, let's talk about what is bank reconciliation statement. The business organizations keep a record of their cash and bank transactions in a cash book. The cash book also serves the purpose of both the cash account and the bank account and shows the balance of both at the end of the period. Once the cash book has been balanced, it is usually to check its details with the records of the firm's bank transactions as recorded by the bank. To enable this check, the cashier needs to ensure that the cash book is complete and up to date and the current bank statement popularly known as passbook has been obtained from the bank. A bank statement or a bank passbook is a copy of a bank account as shown by the bank records. This enables the bank customers to check their funds in the bank regularly and update their own records of transactions that have occurred. The amount of balance shown in the passbook or the bank statement must tally with the balance as shown in cash book. But in practice, these are usually found to be different. Therefore, we have to find out the causes for such difference. It will be observed that a bank statement or passbook shows all deposits in credit column and withdrawals in debit column. Thus, if deposit exceeds withdrawals, it shows a credit balance and if withdrawals exceeds deposits, it will show a debit balance, popularly known as bank overdraft. So, student, whenever the cash book's bank column is not matching with passbook, we have to prepare a statement showing the point of difference because of which items bank balance as per passbook is not matching with the passbook's balance. So, statement prepared to find out this is popularly known as bank reconciliation statement. Now, let us discuss the reasons of differences. Students, as you can see, there are majorly three reasons of differences. Timing differences, omissions and differences caused by errors. Now, let us discuss timing differences. These are the differences caused by time lag in receipt of information or recording of a transaction between the bank and the firm or business like unpresented checks or outstanding checks, uncredited checks, deposit or uncleared documents. Now, let us discuss about omissions. Students, omissions are items which arise in bank statement before they are recorded in cash book. Such unrecorded items are direct credits, direct debits as per standing orders, bank charges, bank interest received, unpaid checks due to stoppage by the drawer or written as dishonored or popularly known as pounds. Now, let us discuss about difference caused by errors. The difference between the cash book and bank balances may be caused by an error on the part of the bank or in the cash book entries. Frequent bank reconciliation is advisable so that we can identify, rectify errors as soon as possible. It is good business practice to prepare a bank reconciliation statement each and every time whenever bank statement or passbook up to date is received. This will ensure that any queries either by the bank statement or in the firm's cash book can be resolved. Now, let us talk about need for bank reconciliation statement.
students it is important to compare the bank statement and bank column of cash book if the two balances do not match it is necessary to reconcile them to explain why the differences have occurred it may be prepared every week every month or on daily basis depending upon transactions done with the bank students we can say that the purposes of bank reconciliation statement is to update the cash book with some of the items appearing in bank statement like bank charges interest charges dishonored checks and make adjustments for any errors reflected in cash book to detect and prevent errors or frauds relating to the cash book as well as to detect and prevent errors or frauds relating to the bank now let's discuss steps in preparing a bank reconciliation statement to update the cash book with the items appearing in bank statement and not appearing in cash book except for errors in bank statement items on the bank statement not in cash book include the bank charges direct credits and payment stand, standing orders adjustment should also be made for errors in the cash book compare the debit side of cash book with the credit side of bank statement to find out the uncredited deposits by the bank compare the credit side of cash book with the debit side of bank statement to determine the unpresented check so prepare the bank reconciliation statement and find out the points of difference now let's discuss about important points to remember whenever we are solving any sum of bank reconciliation students if we are starting with cash book that means cash book balance then the ending point will be passbook if we are starting with passbook balance then our answer would be balance as per cash book debit balance as per cash book or credit balance as per passbook means that the firm has that much amount of deposit with the bank opposite of it that is credit balance as per cash book or debit balance as per passbook that means much amount has been withdrawn popularly known as overdraft students do remember that it is prepared by firm itself on a particular date wherein bank is not preparing it and it is a statement not an account now let's discuss about format of bank reconciliation statement students as i told you that if we are starting with balance as per cash book our final answer would be balance as per pass book now let's discuss which items are going to be added and which items are going to be deducted the first item here appearing is checks issued but not presented for payment so as per our side student do remember that our side means side with which we are starting the sum here we are starting the sum balance as per cash book that means at our side checks are issued but not presented for payment that means the person the party to whom we issued the check hasn't deposited it so what will happen from bank's point of view our balance would be lower so we are going to add it second item 
interest credited by bank but not recorded in cash book bank has already given us interest on our amount available credit balance but it is not recorded in our side so we have to add it next item debtors directly paid into bank most of the time because of internet banking online transaction the debtors directly credit to bank but we haven't recorded it in cash book so we have to add it why because we are starting with balance as per cash book so our side is cash book opposite side is pass book next item wrong credit by banker by some mistake banker has given us wrong credit so to rectify it we have to add it and last collection by banker as per customer standing instructions sometime we have given standing instruction to the bank and bank collected some amount so we have to add it now let's discuss which items we are going to deduct student do remember these items are going to be deducted why because we started with balance as per cash book our side is cash book right so check deposited but not credited by the bank we have deposited the check we think that that check is cleared but not cleared by the bank so we have to deduct it dishonored checks appeared in pass book but not entered in cash book we deposited some check we thought that check is cleared but because some of the other reason or balance not available with the issuer the check is dishonored so with that much amount the am our account is lesser so we have to deduct it bank charges as per pass book bank is taking certain charges like sms charge so with that much amount our account would be decreased so we have to deduct it wrong debit by banker sometime the banker has shown debit in wrong way so we have to deduct it and last payments as per standing instructions sometimes the business organization give certain standing instruction that directly that much amount must be deducted like payment of telephone charge so we have to deduct it now we have to add these items as i discussed a is balance as per cash book total of all the added items that is b this is a plus b that is balance as per cash book plus all the added items from that we are going to deduct items that is our d so student do remember a is balance as per cash book b is all the added items so a plus b is equal to total that is c minus all items to be deducted that is d so c minus d is nothing but balance as per cash book now student let's start with different examples an amount of rupees 1000 which should be credited into owner's personal account was wrongly credited by the bank to company's bank account what have to do amount is related with owner's personal account wrongly credited with firm's account the balance of cash book is rupees 4000 that means we are going to start with cash balance 4000 and to find out the balance as per bank what we have to do bank has wrongly added 1000 rupees 
that belongs to whom that belongs to the owner so this is the very first sum so balance in hand 4000 wrongly credited by the bank we going to add it so final answer that is balance as per passbook is rupees 5000 clear now let's take another example from the following particulars of mrs anand industries prepare bank reconciliation statement as on december 31st 2021 bank balance as per cash book rupees 65000 student bank balance as per cash book 65000 is given that means we are going to start with bank balance as per cash book right check deposited into bank but not credited up to 31st december 17800 we thought that we deposited check worth rupees 17800 but because one or another reason the check is not clear so with that much amount our balance would be lower so we are going to deduct it next item checks issued but not presented for payment we issued check worth rupees 25000 we thought that with that much amount our account is going to decrease but that particular check is not deposited by the party so with that much amount our balance is going to increase so we are going to add 25000 next item bank credited rupees 10000 for receiving dividend through electronic clearing system bank credited 10000 that means with that much amount our balance is going to increase so we are going to add it bank charges debited by bank bank directly charge some charges worth rupees 800 so with that much our balance is going to decrease so we are going to deduct it so student i am just writing plus minus and we can solve the sum the first item 65000 with that we are going to start the sum as i told you check deposited into bank but not credited so with that much amount our balance is going to decrease we should check but that is not presented so with that much amount our balance is going to increase bank directly credited 10000 so with that much amount our balance is going to increase so we will put plus bank directly debited bank charges so with that much amount our balance is going to decrease right so what to do we are starting with bank balance as per cash book some items as i show you we are going to add some items we are going to show as minus deduction and final answer would be balance as per passbook so now i am sharing the answer please go through it so final answer balance as per passbook is 81400 now let's discuss another example from the following particulars of rana traders prepare a bank reconciliation statement on june 38 2021 balance as per cash book 71500 that means our sum is going to be started with balance as per cash book final answer would be balance as per passbook yes rupees 500 charges for credit card fee is debited by bank which is not recorded in cash book so with that much amount our account is going to be deducted minus right next checks for rupees 15100 are deposited in bank but not yet collected by the bank 
Checks for Rs. 15,100 are deposited but not yet collected. And there was also a debit in passbook Rs. 7,000 in respect of a discount bill dishonored. So, with that much amount, it is going to be deducted. Now, let us see the answer. Balance as per cash book 71,500, checks deposited but not credited plus 15,100, no, we have to deduct it. Credit card free charges debited by the bank minus 500 and discount bill dishonored recorded only in passbook, we do not know about it, so we have to minus it. So, final answer balance as per passbook 48,900. Now, let us discuss another example. On 31st March 2021, passbook of Sri Rajendra shows a debit of Rs 25,000. Student do remember passbook showing debit balance that means bank overdraft. We have taken more money, we withdraw more money from the bank. Our original balance is lower and we withdraw taken more money from the bank. So, debit balance as per passbook that means overdraft, bank overdraft. So, from the following prepare bank reconciliation statement. First point, checks amounting to rupees 16,000 drawn on 25th March 2021 of which checks of rupees 10,000 were encashed on 2nd April. We deposited, no, we drawn, that means we have issued checks worth rupees 16,000. Out of total checks of 16,000, checks worth rupees 10,000 were encashed on 2nd April 2021. That means check worth rupees 10,000 were paid in the month of April. We are preparing reconciliation for March 21. So, with 10,000 rupees, our bank balance is going to increase. So, we will add. Next item, checks paid into the bank for collection, rupees 10,000, but checks of rupees 4,400 could only be collected in March 2021. Checks paid into bank for collection 10,000. Out of that, only 4,400 checks are collected. That means 10,000 minus 4,400. We are going to deduct 5,600. Next item bank charges rupees 50 and dividend of rupees 700 on investments collected by the bank could not be shown in cash book bank charge rupees 50000 so with 50 rupees our balance is going to decrease and rupees 700 on investment dividend on investment that means with 700 our balance is going to increase. Student do remember why we are deducting 50 rupees because bank has taken charge with that much amount our bank balance is going to decrease wherein dividend, dividend is one kind of income with that much amount our balance is going to increase that is why we add it. A bill of rupees 20,000 was retired by the bank under rebate of rupees 300 but the full amount was credited in cash book that means we are having benefit of rupees 300 so we will add 300 now i am sharing the final answer just see we are starting with Balance as per passbook, negative balance that is our overdraft, checks not presented going to be added, 
dividend not recorded going to be added rebate on bill plus 300 so total amount to be added 11000 amount to be deducted check deposited but not credited that is our 10000 minus 4400 that comes to 5600 bank has taken certain charges 50 rupees so total amount to be deducted 5650 so balance as per cash book student do remember we started with balance as per passbook, negative balance. That means our bank overdraft, right? So, final answer is balance as per cash book, bank overdraft, 14,650. Now, let's discuss another sum. On 31st March 21, Mahesh's cash book showed a bank overdraft of 98,700. Overdraft, as I told you, we have withdrawn, taken more money. On comparison, he find the following. Number one, out of the total checks of 8,900 issued on 27th March, one check of 74,000 was presented for the payment on 4th April. And the other check of Rs. 1500 handed over to the customer was written by him. And in lieu, in lieu means in exchange of that, a new check of the same amount was issued to him on 1st April. No entry for the return was made. Student C, we issued total check worth Rs. 8900. Out of that, one check was presented in the month of April. That means our balance is going to be increased with 7400. Right? Second item. One of our customer returned the check. And we issued the check for next month. That means we are going to increase 7400 as well as we are going to increase 1500. Clear? Next item. Out of total cash and check of 6800 deposited, we deposited some cash as well as check worth rupees 6800 in the bank on 24th March. One check of 2600 was cleared on 3rd April. We deposited on 24th March. We thought that we are going to get the whole amount. But what happened? One of the check of Rs. 2600 was cleared on 3rd April. That means our balance is going to lower. With how much? 2600. Why? Because the check cleared in next month. That is 3rd April. The other check of Rs. 500 was written or dishonored by the bank on 4th April. That means we are not getting 2600 as well as 500. So, what to do? Both are going to be deducted. Next item. Bank charges rupees 35 and bank interest rupees 2860 charged by the bank appearing in the passbook but are not yet recorded in cash book. Bank charge rupees 35. Bank interest 2860. A check deposited in his another account of 1550 wrongly credited to this account by the bank. That means we have to add it. Next, a check of Rs. 800 drawn on this account was wrongly debited in another account by the bank. 
a check of rupees 800 to this account was wrongly debited in other that means again we have to add a debit of rupees 3500 appearing in the bank statement for an unpaid check written for being out of date had been redated and deposited in the bank account again on 5th April. That means this amount is going to be deducted in next month. That means we have to deduct. The bank allowed interest on deposit 1000. We are going to get it. So, we are adding it. A customer who received a cash discount of 4% on his account of rupees 1 lakh paid on a check on 28th March. The easier erroneously entered the gross amount in the bank column of the cash. That means we got rebate. How much? 1 lakh into 4% that comes to 4000 with that much amount it is going to decrease so we are going to deduct it now we have to prepare reconciliation statement as I show you which items are going to be added which items are going to be deducted so final answer balance as per passbook is 99,945 with this, I am ending this session. Thank you very much.